remember in my prediction I told you that binomial expansion will not miss so as you see from this paper Miranda you are going to find out that uh, what I told you is actually uh, the idea is that this paper reflects exactly what you are expecting in an exam it is a very clear indicator of what you are expecting we have here higher patches which is commercial to with two higher patches you can look at it this is the question this is the question this is the answer for the question this is the answer for the question so i want to show you uh, that what i told you about the prediction uh, you can really pass very well if you really followed the prediction i gave in the previous video you are going to enjoy your exam here we have uh, calculated the absolute mean that is now how you are going to calculate the deviation for an uh, ungrouped data so this is how you are going to do it number four you can see it has been done very well so practice doing this one you need to practice doing uh, maths you don't read I remember telling you that uh, a paper 2 exam in mathematics cannot be complete without uh, making the subject of the formula. It cannot be complete without that. So here you can see they have given us this one. So you can practice more of such. So the one they have given, Miranda has given is this one and the answer is there. So use this to practice as you practice more of the same. Uh, number one, you see this mixture, and I say that the mixture cannot miss in a paper two exam. Mm -hmm. Very good. Number seven. Number seven, we have the the kinematic application of uh, differentiation. The kinematic differentiation and the divine the velocity when the ball is t. I remember telling you that uh, tangents, the topic in form 3, chords and tangents, that topic cannot miss in an exam. As you can see, number 8, expect such a kind of um, a sum in your exam. It may not be exactly this way, but expect such a question. It is with external or external or internal divisions. So you need to expect that. The answer for number eight is here. The answer for number eight is there. Let's go to number nine. Number nine is uh, matrix, topic 1.4. You are being given area. Remember what you learned about how to get the area. Very nice. Remember that the area scale factor is equal to the determinant. Eh? Very good. So those are the things you need to remember. Number nine. And I told you logarithms is not going to miss. So if you need, you need to prepare logarithms. Do a lot of practice in logarithm form three. Yes. So you can see.
And then I told you that probability probability cannot miss in an exam. If it is not in section in in part uh, section A one, then it must be on in section uh, section two. It must. So prepare for uh, probability. Probability cannot miss paper part two and section two and section one. No, it can be three marks section A or ten marks section A two. You can see that he rejects a fraction, uh, a decimal. So it means that you should always use the fraction. Because if you write like this, then you have truncated some, you give a, you, you introduce another error. So it is important you leave the probability in fraction form. Look at this question. Form 4, application is there now, prepare also very well, number 13, find the, same, the sums of the same kind and deal with them mercilessly so that they, you, can, you can be very familiar with these ones. Equation of a circle, form 3, last, last part of it. Also make sure you you familiarize. You familiarize. Very nice. Number five number five. Fifth number fifteen is a series and sequence. And I also told you that a series and sequence cannot miss in the in section two and miss in section A. I told you that way. Like in this one, you will realize that if it is in section A, it is not going to be there. And I promise you this year, so, uh, because you see for the, uh, the previous years, uh, geometric kimekuwa number 17 for quite some years. So around here, Makahu 2024, in Isaac, equal section 2, equal section A, 3 marks, section 1, 3 marks. Okay? And then now we can have a different topic in. Uh, in section two so you can see this number 15 so you don't expect this one to be in section two again when it is in section a series and sequence the average rate of change we said when you want to draw the average rate of change you find a tangent and then uh, you draw a tangent for at one point you find the gradient of that agent and that is all. So I'm really interested in section 2. Look at now we are in section 2. So I want you to compare what is here and what I told you in the previous video. Number 17, we have started with 3D. Number 17, we have started with 3D. So you can look at the question, 3D. At the time not have given us a pyramid. So prepare well for 3D. That is no lie. Prepare well for 3D. If you want to score 50 marks in section 2, prepare well for section for 3D. Yes. Then the answers are here for the questions B. You can use this question and answer to practice. You can practice using these ones. Now, since we don't have a it says we don't have um, a series and a sequence. It is likely to be replaced by a variation, formula and variation, especially variation. So number 18, as you can see, a variation, most probably, can you do a lot of practice in types, the types of variation, with the joint variation, the partial variation, everything you prepare for that question in the paper two this year. So for this one, I'm giving you the answer for part A, number 18A.
let us see the prediction for Miranda. It is really good. It reflects exactly what we are expecting. This is uh, what we are expecting. Number 19. Number 19 is Locus. I told you Locus. It, it cannot miss. Locus is a question which doesn't meet because most students don't do it. So it will always be there under linear programming. But for Miranda, I see they have not given us linear programming. Then most probably, yes. Very good. I told you that statistics too. Statistics 2 will not miss this year because Statistics 2, all of this is the the reply which you were supposed to do. Let me go to Statistics 2. Statistics 2. You can see there you have been given to use the assuming an average load was that. So prepare well for Statistics 2. As you can see, the one, the, the third quarter, then you can see the questions, and these are the answers. You can use the answers and uh, as you prepare, use these answers and these questions to prepare. Then I told you that you not miss income tax around here. And the income tax is a must. You can see there, that's why I told you Miranda, the uh, prediction of Miranda Mock is actually a reflection mm -hmm. of what you are expecting. It's a reflection, a clear indicator of what you are expecting. So you can see they have given us this. And they have said, these are the questions. <coughs> Excuse me. So they have done that gross income please do more practice on these ones you know the problem is that you know you some students don't want to practice this one will be there and then you find most of them fading for no good reason so please do not do that very good let me take you to question 22 then I told you in my previous video where I was predicting KCSE paper 2, I told you to prepare very well for longitudes and latitudes. Longitude and latitude is a question that you are not going to avoid. It will be there, definitely. So you need to be sure of that. Be sure of that. So this is a question. Use the answers I've been given on the left side and try to practice. If you have a problem for longitude and latitude, I've made a video which is very intensive, but it will help you to understand this topic. I will put the link in the description of this video. Then I told you this, you are expecting this question. For those who are following my journey, you can see that I told you that this is the question you need to expect this year. This question has been missing. This year you are going to draw this one. I feel strongly that way. And the Miranda has predicted that they are going to draw this one. So the answer is here. You can use it to... Very good. Now, whenever you ask, use the graph to answer. This is an equation. 2 sine 2x two is equal to this is equal to 0. So what you need to do is to go to the curve and see where the two curves are meeting. Where they meet, the value of x is there. 
the value of x here, the value of x here where they meet, like this they are meeting 3 times 1, 2, 3. So where they meet, those are the answers you are able to read, to write here in part C. Mali zinakutana, hizo 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 curve, mali zinakutana, zinakutana, hapo ndio, ndio nasoma hizo values za x, hizo values za x, kama ni 160 hapa, ni 1 water hapo, ndio na, nasoma. Hivo tu. Number D, use the graph to find the range. Now you can see what they have done. They are giving the range from 160 to 180. Mm -hmm. Then finally, number 24, we have vectors. Vector, you cannot say that vector was last year and it will not be, it will miss. No, vectors is a very, very important question, so you need to prepare well for vectors. Vectors, prepare well. So, this is what we have in this question for Miranda. That's those are the questions, five marks, and these are the answer. These are the answers. So K is 1 over 3 and M is 8 over 9. Very important to note <coughs> is that this paper of Miranda, I love it, the way it looks like. So can you try to go through it very carefully and do more of the maths that is appearing on this paper. Do more practice on the sums that are appearing in this paper. You won't regret meeting this paper before exam.